Prince Andrew's royal return, halted before it gets off the ground as he'd fail vetting process. Prince Andrew was linked with a shock royal return this week as it was pointed out he could be the perfect person to act as a helicopter pilot for his brother, King Charles. The Scottish Express told how the monarch was on the lookout for an experienced flyer to join his chopper team known as the King's Helicopter Flight, TKHF. The Duke of York flew helicopters with distinction during the Falklands War and is said to retain a fascination with flying, spending hours at his Royal Lodge home tracking the takeoff and arrival of planes. Based at Odium in Hampshire, the job carries a competitive salary with benefits handy for Andrew who has become strapped for cash in recent years as he tries to pay for the upkeep of his home. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. But it has now been pointed out Andrew would likely fail the vetting procedure if he did shock everyone by handing in his CV. According to the Daily Mail, the Palace HR team states, we will contact your professional, and sometimes personal, referees. We'll also undertake background checks in order to process your security clearance. And that would spell bad news for the disgraced Duke whose links to sex offender Jeffrey Epstein are well known. While an FBI probe into his friendship Epstein was paused, it continues to cast a pall over Andrew's head. The TKHF consists of a small team of pilots and ground support staff who provide an exceptional helicopter travel service to members of the royal family undertaking official engagements across the UK, according to the job advertisement on the royal family website. The King is looking for an experienced multi-engine helicopter commander who will act as either pilot in command or co-pilot. The successful applicant will be responsible for the planning and safe execution of flights and duties in accordance with TKHF operations manual. As well as flying duties, the job involves offering support to the Director of Flight Operations with a range of management and operational activities. The successful applicant would be required to live within an hour of RAF Odium, not an issue for Andrew whose Royal Lodge home is just 45 minutes away. The Duke is far from the only royal with experience of handling a helicopter. Prince William was a search and rescue pilot at RAF Valley in Wales and later an air ambulance pilot for the East Anglian Air Ambulance while his brother Prince Harry flew Apaches with the Army Air Corps. The King himself qualified as a pilot in 1974, following in the footsteps of his father Prince Philip. Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson's very unusual living arrangement despite divorce. Sarah Ferguson, despite finalizing her divorce from Prince Andrew 28 years ago, still shares a residence and a close bond with him. The Duchess of York, who marks her 65th birthday today, has two daughters with the Duke, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. Despite Andrew's current wrangles with King Charles regarding where he should live, Following difficulties maintaining the vast 30-bedroom Royal Lodge, both he and the Duchess continue to call it home. Fergie, affectionately known by this moniker among her pals, has been acquainted with Andrew since their youth, leading to their marriage in 1986. Their separation occurred in 1991, and they divorced five years later in 1996, reports The Express. In spite of their breakup, Ferguson remained supportive of Andrew throughout the subsequent Jeffrey Epstein controversy, which culminated in his withdrawal from public royal roles in 2019. In a heartfelt interview with US TV personality Ernie Manaus back in 2010, Sarah disclosed, My deal was that I was marrying my man, who happened to be a prince and a naval officer. But what I got was not the man, I got the palace and didn't get him. And the courtiers told me I had to go to Buckingham Palace, and he had to go to sea. For our marriage, I saw him 40 days a year. Starting their married life at Sunninghill Park in Ascot, Andrew and Ferdy relocated to Royal Lodge in 2004. In an interview with the Sunday Times during 2021, the Duchess expressed that she views Royal Lodge as her principal UK dwelling, whenever she is in Britain. She expressed, 
I travel a lot and I've always been able to make wherever I am home. If I am staying in a hotel I have the same family photographs and scented candles around me. When I'm in the UK I'm lucky enough to stay at Royal Lodge. I wouldn't call it my home as that would be presumptuous. Three years prior, in 2018, she detailed to the Daily Mail how despite having separate rooms on different sides of the mansion, they always enjoy afternoon tea together. She stated, we sit round the table and have afternoon tea together. It's a very important part of our lives. She further emphasized how united the family remains despite past events. She clarified, we're the happiest divorced couple in the world. We're divorced to each other, not from each other. My duty is to him. I am so proud of him. I stand by him and always will. The way we are is our fairy tale. The Yorks are a united family. We've shown it. Sarah Ferguson embraces being a hands-on grandmother, I'm loving making Barbie houses again. During a Tuesday, October 10th appearance on This Morning, the Duchess of York, 64, opened up about how she navigates being a grandmother to her daughters Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie's kids. How do you describe being a grandmother? It is one of the most precious, joyful, exciting moments because you're so proud of your own children, and they've done such a good job. But then these are little naughties again, but you can play again, she said. And since I am clearly only a three-year-old, I am actually loving making Barbie houses again. I forgot, how to do so, she explained. Fergie, and her ex-husband, Prince Andrew, are grandparents to Beatrice's daughter, Sienna, who was born in September 2021. Beatrice, 36, announced earlier in October that she is expecting her second child with husband Edardo Mopelli Mozzi, who also is father to son Christopher Wolfe, 8, from a previous relationship. Her sister Eugenie, 34, is a mom to sons August, 3, and Ernest, 1, who she shares with her husband Jack Brooksbank. Noting the difference in being a grandmother to boys, Fergie admitted, now I have to play trains. Boys are different, and I've got to know how to play with the train and not to do it wrong, and you know I've got to get it right, so it's really the most extraordinary thing to be a grandmother, she added. She also noted that her grandchildren all love her children's book Flora and Fern, Wonder in the Woods, which is now available to purchase and was inspired by them. It was my goal to give readers an important message about the power of community and being connected to the world around you, an ethos which I believe to be integral to a sustainable future, she said in a recent Instagram post. This is something that I strive to share with my children and grandchildren, and am so thrilled to bring to all of you in my new book. With lots of snow-filled fun, of course. I hope you enjoy reading as much as I have enjoyed building these new. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.